Hey y'all, this is Urs, and welcome back to the Long War. We just got off a mission, we have 666 credits. Sounds like fun! Well, we're gonna do, we're waiting for the uh, power facility to come up so we can build a Sadie Nexus. Now, Sadie Nexus, where are you, Sadie Nexus? You need some Alirium, so we're gonna save all Alirium we can. There's a lot of foundry projects that each cost a little bit of Alirium, and I'm like, ah, oh, I really wanna build that, but then, if we keep spending Alirium, we'll never have enough. So I'm gonna start excavating down here. I might start thinking about another engineering bay if we have the power. Have the power! Which would be nice. We're also gonna looking at our hangar situation. It'll be easier to look at it here, thank you. Uh, we have four here, three here, five and five. What I likely will do instead is drop another interceptor down here just to fill out our numbers a bit. Uh, we're obviously gonna be starting to drop big old fancy alien tech on everything soon. Those firestorms are coming. But for now, I'm gonna order an interceptor probably toward South America. I'm gonna do that, and then we're gonna get another laser cannon, just to have that handy. 98, doesn't cost any Illyrium, which is why I'm doing this. I have credits, but not Illyrium, I can spend some alloys. So that's probably a worthy investment for now. Do we have anything I can do on the OTS? Regimental officers is still a little bit off, that's fine. I mean, I could get regimental officers, but we're gonna run into another mission. We're gonna need to build the facility, and that costs about, what, 300 or so? Let me just double check here. Uh, the knack, we were just here, obviously, but... Yep, 300 on the dot, on the nosy. Let's save some cash. We'll get some beginning of next month, but again, waste not, want not, and all that good stuff. So, let's just keep going. I think we're okay on all our bits as well, our uplink targeting. Just make sure we're actually okay on all our bits there. We're placing the aim module. We've got the dodge, two dodges, one boost. We're building a boost? And one aim. Are we not building a boost? Really? That's dumb. Build a boost. It's only one, like, one Illyrium I can handle. Just, just saying. Are you serious? Alright, I guess that's the case. Anyway, let's go. Contact detected. Very large. Nafliath, Nigeria. Me thinks this is gonna be the terror mission. Hey, Skids. What you got up there? What you got, Skids? But yeah, this is probably no. It wasn't terror. Supposed to be in India. This could be a large landing. It could be just what I need, actually. No, no joy it looks here. like a. It's like a battleship. Battleships don't land. Why are you flying that for the Earth? Is that an assault carrier? No. Wasn't this terror ship in India? Maybe there's gonna be another one. All right, we got a terror mission in Kaduna, which we are gonna take on. Don't you worry. Don't you pay no mind. Just real quick. So Kaduna. It's right there. Let me just see. At maximum capacity. Which? Additional uplink required. All right, so Nigeria has no shield. That's really bad. Can we fulfill a request for Nigeria? Well, we can let Mexico get happy. We just got that prisoner, too. All right, I guess they all want prisoners now, so do that. Two scientists and attack corporal. Well, hell, that's gonna do me. This is gonna suck. We may lose Nigeria again. Luckily, I think we have a spare satellite. Let's see. After going to all this trouble, the aliens are probably yeah. more than a little upset. So one available. Line like they'd hoped. And we probably have a skeleton key out here as well. Let's see, is there? An, I mean, I wish there was an easier way to look at this. Yeah, one skeleton key. So we can always get Nigeria back. I don't really fancy going for another base raid that starts in Africa, but no choice of this matter. So let's kit out a group. We knew the terror mission's coming. Uh, bounded by water. Okay, this is waterfront. This is either the big uh, warehouse, the huge warehouse with like two level roof, two height roof, or the, it's the one with all the shipping containers. So good thing we're bringing an explosive. That tends to get, the sight lines tend to get nasty there. So we're gonna go all in on this, kind of our prime squad. Saint's a little out of it right now, but that's okay. He's busy getting a happy yellow juice in his system. All right, so let's go Archer, Pathfinder. Yeah, we're gonna be going in hard on this. And do we have a sniper on the field already? No, we don't. No, we do. Wolf's on the mission. The wolf is on mission. And let's go. It's really the best we've got. Do we have any other gunners coming out in a couple hours? Not to knock Morris, but if I can get a master sergeant, I'd be happier with my life. Looks like that shit ain't happening. Yeah, it looks like everyone's kinda out. Can I fatigue out Dorn, maybe? Because I can fatigue out Dorn on this mission at least, and he'll also provide command, which I think I'm gonna do. 
Not because I desperately need it, but I mean, Master Sergeant Crew is kind of what I need on terror missions these days. Scout Sniper, Assault, Infantry Roll. Right, Explosives, Gunner, now we need Support. And do we go Rocketeer or NG? Do we have an NG? We're chopping, chopping sugar right now. You're not a sapper, are you? No, you're not. You're not. So I do think we're gonna need... Ah, oh, we're gonna need some work here. Let's see, do we have an explosives engineer that can handle this? Because we won't have repair at that point if I don't take an engineer. Or we could take a support medic with extra med kits. Assume that'll be okay. <laughs> Assume. And go Rocketeer, which I may do instead. This could be a bad decision, but I think it's a good one. <laughs> it could be bad, but I think it's good. All right, Smoke Mirrors, you got, you got the combat cocaine, and that's fine. How's our other medic spec right now? Vengeful one, you are smoke grenade. You don't have a smoke grenade spec yet, so unfortunately, I'm gonna take the guy who actually has a spec in case Ethereals had to show up. We're gonna set you up with a little extra healing, and then we're gonna go Rocketeer. That's how we're gonna have to roll on this one. So Meepy's close to promotion. Meepy's also the only one we can take, so Meepy, you're taking a cake. All right, that seems like a pretty freaking prime crew. Let's lock it out. Load out. So we're still shy. Oh, we're not shy in Aegis anymore. We're about to get our nice Archangel armors. That'll be glorious. Let's set up the easy stuff. Neural and the bipod, and we'll see what else we can do. Nova! Load out. We got the... Wait a minute. We have an infantry roll, so we can give you a proper rifle. That's nice. Titan. And the usual. Uh, chameleon and that chitin plate we love so much. Come on. Blah. The usual awesome that she represents. We'll hit up the reflex cannon. Give me a sidearm so you can still move. And rock out the full-on tank mode. I mean, you have to do this for assaults. The way, I, the way I use it, let me rephrase that. The way I use assaults, you need to do this in assaults. I gotta tank them up. I just throw them in there, no cover, and just freaking kill it before it kills you. Good game. Alright, Dauntless. <laughs> Double pulse lands, bitches. Oh, does that mean I get two grenade launchers? It must be my birthday. Mm. I think the first time I get to drop all that pain, all that pain, all up in there. Oh, that's gonna be so good. Double grenades with proxies. I mean, back in Beta 14, you could, if you watch Beagle, I mean, you, you, he just loads up on proxies. He just doesn't care about anything else, and for good reason. I mean, proxies were insanely, pretty much broken. It was really good. You can sneak up on units. Use battle scanner, just layer them with proxy. They won't do anything, and then they move, and then they kill themselves. It used to be pretty a pretty broken tactic, so I'm glad we changed it. All right, Dorn now. I mean, he's kind of overshadowed with the giant mechs up there, but, you know, I get distracted sometimes, and I'll see the awesome. That is our mech core. Where the hell is my Nova gun? There it is. Then we're going to rock walkers, illuminators, and AP. We have an extra healing... Squirt in Pathfinder if we really desperately need it. Edibibo, you already have the loadout I want you to have. Yeah, pretty much do. Uh, we're gonna rock you out and Titan, give you the Carbine, and Flashbang and Medikit. That's pretty much how we're gonna roll it. And Meepy the Rocketeer, last but not least, we're gonna put in a last kit of Titan, Storm Gun, Recoilless, and a Neural. Where are you? There you go. Alright. So, we're kitted out. It's terror mission time. Time to fight terror. Let's go! Terror! Gonna kill it. Wait, 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 wait. I have one more slot on a wolf, don't I? I do. Yep, I do. Yeah, where's that oh shit button? There we go. Oh shit button. Now we can go. I knew I was forgetting something. God knows we need the oh shit button sometimes. It gets bad. It gets bad. Skids is back in service. <laughs> He's like, I saw the terror mission in Africa, it was bad! Yeah, I know. Mission site. I agree. It was awful. Listen up. We're going to be dropping you deep in the Nigerian St. John's, are you serious? They the moved Newfoundland to Nigeria the because the Chrysalis took over Canada. Ha <laughs> ha! I've actually never seen a terror mission on this map. Really? Oh, that's new? That's new? Uh, that's cool. I've never done this mission before. That's pretty fucking cool. You glad that we're using this map. Central. Brings back bad memories. Drop Affirmative, Big Sky. Squad is cleared to engage hostile targets. 
Watch your fire out there. We have civilians on the ground. Repeat, we got civilians on the ground. So I threw them on the ground. Okay, so we have civilians out here, and there's gonna be alien presence out here. Let's eliminate said alien presence out here. Looks like we got a scan saying those aliens directly to this side. Shit, the map ends here. Doesn't it? No, it's got a little distance to it. Wait a minute. How are we aligned here? This is the cruise ship, right? This is the infestation source. Yeah, I just kind of usually run up this way. So there are some aliens out here and some civilians that are not... So literally, we're running up the map now. Ah, okay. So do I run and trigger this pack? Or do I run up this way, get a little more intel, and instead try to get some high ground rolling? Because I don't want to be fighting from low ground if I can avoid it. Now, I could go all the way back here and try to save the cruise. It looks like there's a civvy back there. It might not die. I think I want to go try to move to high ground before anything else happens. Let me get Nova up this way. I mean, there's some nasty shit everywhere here, so that's no question in my mind. Let me get you moving. Get a scan up. Let's take a quick look. It's straight up here. Okay, get a motion track. I mean, motion track. Get a battle scan. See what we're going to be facing down in a sec. A lot of civilians to our left. It looks like we may keep them alive if we're lucky. Oh, you hear that tambourine? You hear that Thin Man Tambourine Man stuff going? Hey, Mr. Tambourine Man. Headed there now. Play something for me. I don't remember the words for that. Damn, it's it's late. But that that freaking tambourine and that uh, little bongos stuff, it's happening. The lids are playing the bongos. Thing we decided. I'm on it, Commander. Got a little bit of Guiro going back there too. This map is so many creepy sound effects. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, he disturbs the hell out of me. Oh, we're gonna keep out of cover for now. Obviously, we're just gonna move optimally. Keep I everyone in commander. blue move overwatch. There's a tambourine! Oh, I got it. I got it. It's coming. It's happening! God, that fucking tambourine. All right, let's get Meepy up here. I think I'm firing the hole. We can get some solid rockets even without steadying. Says says Urs as he dies horribly. Oh, shit. Didn't mean to put Vandor in there. I'm going to put him right there. The mouse jumped. My bad. Oh, tambourine. It's back. Oh, the thin men. Thin men are still rocking out. Still trying to bring back the 70s. I understand. I understand. It was good. It was a good time for music, Defensive honestly. It really was. Uh, probably gonna wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Oh, I got a little bit of like uh, rock the Casbah on there. <laughs> this, this map is just all kinds of crazy. It brings back the worst memories. Oh god. Got him down the jet fighters. Pew pew. Heavy mech. Hey hey, friends. Almost. So we got a little bit of problems. Yeah, we got a lot of freaking problems. Two lost and one turn. Can we not murder every single person in Nigeria real quick? That would just be awful. There is definitely some alien presence up there, though. So we're going to have to deal with this ship somehow. There's a lot of bullshit that we're going to have to go through. If we're going to make it. And Dorn. We get vision. There we go. That's what I need to see. Nastiest pack ever. Warmaster? Wouldn't be a terror mission without a Warmaster. Do tell. Oh, do tell. Give me some of that shit. Where's that War Master at? Where's that War Master at? I see you! Oh, God! God, they hate me so much! They're like, what does Earth hate above all else in the freaking world? And they're like, um, that would be War Masters. We're gonna put more of that shit on his missions. Like, all over that shit. We're gonna drop War Masters so hard right now. And by golly gee, Willikers the Seventh, we just did. All right, Meepy, you're gonna be setting off the proxy. Son of a bitch. Okay. Well, luckily, we have Beth here ready to do some do some dirty. Ugh. I cannot believe this shit. Alright, well, at least we're hitting the nasty one early, so we're not getting caught while we're fighting something else, but obviously there's more stuff that we need to save, like civilians. We're gonna maximize damage from the proxy here and maybe try to get that guy's cover down. Yeah, put that in mine right there. Meepy, give me that rocket on target, bucko. We're gonna try to... We're gonna try to save some people. And hold this three up on that ship. I mean, that won't be a total loss if we, you know, knock this pack down. We gotta knock them down quick, because they're gonna go after civvies, like, with a, with a vengeance. Let's see. Shot is blocked. Can we get a better shot at this guy? Like, something's gonna hit him in the face? I guess we could. And that's that's about as good as we're gonna get. I need that War Master to go, go to hell real quick. And a hand basket. Alright, do it. Oh, shot is black. Fuck, 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 fuck. No, no, it was fine. I got that little red note at the last second there, but... 
think we're okay. But that War Master, look at this, look at this SOB. He actually didn't, um, scoot out to a point where I can get at him. I think this cover is still full, I didn't clear him up. So that didn't do nearly what I wanted it to. Uh, are you serious? I'm gonna go balls deep on this guy. I'm gonna need to, I think. Fuck. Alright, Wolf, what do you got, man? 83. 100% on an uncovered floater? Is that an uncovered floater? I do declare it is. 100%? Really? You're not flying? You're not flying, huh? And how many hit points does that guy have? That dude's got about... 11 on the dot with DR. That may be enough. I'm just trying to figure out a good way to rock this out. Van Dorn does have the ability to give me... Yeah, that tax sense is freaking brutal, dude. Yeah, I don't want to burn Van Dorn unless I have to. I mean, this is going to give Beth a lot of fun. Unless we trigger another pack. I mean, we probably will at this rate, but let's just go in. we got to go in hard. We'll get some nice and tasty hit and run action here as well. Pack on the right. No? Oh, first time that didn't screw me. That's nice. It's 100%. That's give me hit and run. That doesn't give me hit and run. That doesn't give me shit balls, but that gives me hit and run. You are not flying. Yeah, you are not flying. Enemies exposed. So that's fine. What else we got? You are also exposed. Okay, we're gonna do some... Do some big work here. We may use... Yeah, this guy, the War Master, is still the biggest issue. I may have to suppress him with Dorn. If I can't deal with him quickly, because we're gonna run in our assault to help me clean this crap up. Yeah, yeah. I'm thinking it's gonna be a little bit of that action going. Can we trim this guy's health down just a wee bit? Before I go all whole hog on this. It's gonna give you vision. Yeah, I think Edwell can contribute pretty well here. Let's see. Yeah, I think he can. Oh, he's like seen by way too many things right now. I remember I'm not forgetting about the lid, obviously. It's a little scary. 90%. Fuck that lid, man. Alright, Edwell, give me a little bit of that. On target. Nice shot, son! Nice shot, son! Alright, good. Good. You, you heard him, he wouldn't have it. Ah, oh, that fucking hurt! Alright. Handle me, riddle me this, riddle me that. Kill me a heavy floater and that'll be that. Got it down pat. Splat. Okay. Now what? Now fucking what? I mean, ideally we'd be able to hit two things with Blair, but the problem is depending on hit and run is not going to get us there. I could potentially drop that guy, but I'm not sure I'll be able to. Beth has a clean shot right now. Let me get that roll in real quick. We can do a lot of damage to that SOB. 16 creep. See, that's the shit I'm talking about right there. That's that's the kind of shit I need to see more of. Dropping heavy floaters like a boss. Write memos like a boss. So we could get hit and run here on this lid and then... Oh, Nova can help me. Nova can help me beautifully. Can you get aim from here? Aim? You can't get aim, but she can get aim from here. Well, I'm twanging everything so hard. Yeah, she can get that easy execution kill. Got to start using more in the zone here. Is that That's an annoying place for that pack to be. We clear this up, then we have one directional fight the rest of the map. Yeah, I'm done. 70%. Oh, you got, you got cover, huh? Ain't you just a piece of work. So that's not going to be in the zone at all. That's just kind of there. We do have to kill this lid is somewhat... Wait, Van Dorn, do you lose your cover for some reason? Was this not cover or something? Is Van Dorn out of cover? Oh shit, Van Dorn is out of cover. Why are you out of cover? What happened? Oh, that rocket must have grazed what he was sitting behind. Okay, so we don't have a solution to that. Okay, wow, I'm glad I noticed that before I committed in a very stupid way. So Wolf can provide me some flexibility here. You'd see that guy. Is there any way to get Wolf to see the other feller? Or am I completely hung out to dry on that? There's no way Wolf's seeing that guy. This will give us line on the other folks though, right? Yeah, they'll give us line on those two. I might get squad side on that fellow. It's possible. Wolf, can you help me out here, buddy? What do you see? I don't think he does, though. 83 on the war mat? No. 87. 48 on the war. That's more like it. Yeah, unfortunately. 
All right, so Dorn, we have no Dorn suppression, so that's already not optimal. We have a lid to deal with, which isn't optimal. Okay. I may need to suppress Dorn anyway, just suppress the guy so he doesn't shoot anybody. This is a really hard first move to get into. You have a proper rifle, though, which is nice. If you can get an execution. The problem is I want to make a mix between people that are going to execute stuff and folks that aren't going to be able to do it. Oh, we're going to need to suppress that guy, I think. I'm going to AoE this. This is risky as hell for Dorn. I mean, look at that DR. I mean, I didn't even do any damage to that crap. Which is awfully not cool. I need... Yeah, I just don't have the power to execute all of this at one go. If only I had a little more, just a little more oomph, we'd be able to pull this off. I'm gonna, I'm gonna guarantee the flush kill. Actually, can we, can we flamethrow this? Looks like we could. Then we can guarantee the kill with Wolf. Would we be able to actually get? No, I don't want to hit the civilian. I'm not hitting the civilian. I'm not hitting the damn civilian. So that looks like it's gonna give me a flamethrower. But I've been, I've been burned by this before. No pun intended. That may be the solution I actually need. Does no one, wait, did no one else see that guy up there? Oh, that's another wrinkle in it. Yeah, no one sees that guy save Beth. Wow, yeah, so I'm kind of, I kind of got myself backed into a hole here. Whew. If we flamethrow, do we have enough power to kill that guy in the back? So I want to end this in one go, otherwise I'm, I'm risking getting killed here. Vandal can get me up here, but I need to use Vandal on the lid, I'm afraid. Without hit and run, I'm not going to be that useful. And Nova has a kill shot there. Nova sees the guy in the bag, but it's not a kill shot. Okay. You depend on Nova to get that one. Okay, I, I, that's the plan. That's the plan. What's the plan, you ask? I'll tell you. We're going to use Blair to handle the, the lid, effectively. He's going to keep her... Out of vision, most things. Which is they're suppressing. Be focusing on Van Dorn. So I'm gonna point blank shot the lid with Blair. We're gonna depend on Nova to drop this guy on a 70%. That's not awesome, but it's it's something that I can probably pull off after she drops the lid with the uh, in the zone. All right. So Blair pretty much handled that for me. We can get her up close. If something moves, actually, we can totally do a little bit of. Uh, CQC work on this, but so Nova's not needed anymore for that. So we have 80% there, 70% there. Let me see if this will actually work out the way I'm planning. And we have action still. Beth, Nova, and Wolf. 93 to potentially drop that guy. So we can potentially drop two. Alright, let's see how the luck shakes out here. Alright, let's go. Got him! Nice shot, Nova. Sexy. Okay. Wolf, drop the 93 if you can. Done. Vendor's still suppressing the big guy. So, worst comes to worst, Vendor might take a ping, but that'll be alright. We can hit a flush, and then Vendor would be able to get an opportunity shot, but I want to keep him suppressed. I'd rather burn him. But there's a chance. You now, if he panics, is there a chance to use another flamethrower? Maybe if we get a really nasty pack? This is just a war. I mean, just a war master. Christ, what am I talking about? And Vandal... And Vandal can always just seek you see this guy if need be. I was a little concerned about my options here. Let me get Vandal out here, at least save a civilian, so this will be a success guarantee. And then if something really goes to shit... Okay, you know what? Since we're flanking him, he's gonna want to move. I'm probably... Should I take the ping now or wait? Let's take the shot. No, wait, wait. If he's moving, though, it'll be a penalty on open ground. We're going to one for all and overwatch this. We have pretty good aim now. He's going to want to move because of the flank. He's probably going to crit Van Dorn in the face, but let's see what he does. Or he's going to freak out and just sit there. Oh, 57. On opportunities, we got 57? Oh, Dorn doesn't miss, though. Yeah, Dorn might take it on the jaw. I heard Exalt. I'm going to keep jotting all this down. i got to keep, uh, keep rocking it here. Exalt, and... Oh! I'm smiling. He's down. I'm smiling. Are you smiling? It's a good shot. Why are you hitting two a turn now? That shit ain't right. 
I'm running as fast as I can here. I'm the gingerbread man, but this is getting a little ridiculous. I'll be honest with you. Come on now. All right. Well, obviously we're losing people hand over fist. Nova, I needed to realign here. What do we got? Okay, we got alien presence directly north of us. See if we can't clear that. We already lost four. And I'm not. I'm not a fan of losing any more than that. We can't quite get there. Oh, it's just on fire, I guess. No, no, it's not. We are going to toss a scan, though. That pack is right outside that civilian. Let's see. I might be able to... Can I get a mech up there to give her cover if need be? Not quite. Let me move the hub up here, because we'll be able to... There now. Toss a grenade down this gullet if need be. No, we have no vision up there. That's the one minor problem we got right now. I could just pop Beth up here. And give me a little bit of jet boot module action. Gaining elevated position. It'd be nice if I had an eye on this. Unlikely to be particularly successful. So would Nova be able to provide that for me? It's highly possible. Uh, that would give me a good idea of where to deploy Beth. I think the intel first would be better. So let me do that. Lock you down. You'll be able to Take toss a grenade. Here. Nova, get up here. That's a big old pack. That's definitely something up there. What do we got? What do we got? Yeah, it's, ooh, where are you going to throw that thing? It's right next to the civvy that we saw. So put it right about there. And let me know what's up. Let's have a peek. At least get a corner on that pack and see what we won. So what do we got? Oh, it's Exalt. This is the Exalt pack. Okay, so I can totally run Beth in here. Have a field day with it. We're probably going to start with a proxy, though, just for shits and giggles. Oh, yeah, that looks that looks like a sexy proxy to me. Look at that. We're going to throw it right in the middle, and they're going to activate, and then just get wrecked. Yeah, launch that proxy right there. Now, unlike Beta 14, in previous editions, this will activate the pack. Weapons hot. Okay, that ended two of them and nearly ended the rest. They don't know Beth has got them jet boots rocking, so... This is going to be relatively standard operating procedure. Got a lot of dudes that we can see and a lot of flanks. So let's get on some of that. So I hate fighting from low ground, but this is going to be providing me with a lot of quick access to the exalt pods. Okay, do we have eyes on anything from down here? Wolf, do you have eyes on anything from down here? Because he's going to be the long range fellow, the lone ranger, so to speak. No. May have some lines from out here, but it's, it's possible. This should give me the range, actually. And give me the angle I need. Heading out. Yep, got something on the scanners. That's the only guy that's in cover. Oh, he ain't gonna last long, so... And it's the one dude that actually has cover from Beth. So let's handle that guy real quick. Or we could just totally fuck it up and I'll leave yourself open to a flank. That works too, Wolf. I mean, if you feel like doing that today. Can't stop you, I guess. Alright, that's not so good. So now we got another priority. Hey, dude. Hey there. 96%? Yeah, I didn't funny see any there. That was a kill, right? That looked like it went to the wall to the right of him. Yeah, okay, that's a kill. Good. For a minute there, I was about to be really, really salty. Hi. Good. Beth taking names. Almost out of ammo. Not a problem anymore. Yeah, definitely not a problem anymore. Ammo's still a problem, though. We can get up here, and oh wow, I'm glad I have an assault. Moving at the speed of death. Speed of death, baby. Uh, let's get you up here, and I have an assault that can run like hell. That's the other thing. Uh, this doesn't give me vision. Yeah, but say if I can save the civilian and give me vision, that's great. I mean, this is a flank technically, but. Shotguns are kind of proximity. I'm concerned about triggering something else out here. We're just gonna run. Hop, 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 hop. Good enough. I need to kill the thing that's got Wolf in the crosshairs. So that needs to die right now. One less egg salt. And let's see. So you don't really have no way to see this guy, do you? Nah, it doesn't look like it. Headed there now. We need to take high ground with as many people as possible. As quickly as possible. Obviously, there are not a lot of good positions here. Ed Will can maybe do stuff in Van Dorn. Really, these are the last two actions we have. Okay. Well, shit. Van Dorn, at least try to take high ground. I don't think there's anything else back here. We would have seen it on the scan. Van Dorn, take high ground oh, here. Ed Will take high ground there, and we'll see what's going to happen. He may go after a civilian, that little bastard, but... 
I'm gonna try to get people into high ground positions so we're at least ready when the next hammer drops. And Dorn on high ground is where you want Dorn to be. They're falling back. Well, you're falling back, but he's probably gonna try to take a swing at somebody. Don't you dare. Don't you execute a civilian. Don't you execute a... Oh, he didn't execute a civilian. But he's running back. He's trying to bait me. Okay, at least it's only one kill a turn. We're improving. Okay. So, there's obviously some bait going on there, which I'm going to take. I mean, I got to keep saving civvies, but we're going to handle this one next time. I'm a little tight on recording space today. Recording some long ones. So, I will see you all next time on XCOM The Long Wars. We finish up this terror mission, hopefully save some civvies. And by God, we'll finish it next time. Till then.